Well, it's time to move it on a Monday, and we got an awesome guest with us from right down the road, Miss Jackie Carson, firm and women's basketball coach, getting ready for an awesome season. I've been seeing y'all in the gym all summer, too, working it. The summer was crazy. Yeah. It was amazing camp numbers, and yes. our, our, our team was on campus. Uh, working hard, getting ready for the season. Just super proud of them, and, and thanks to all those campers that showed up this summer. Herman does the best basketball camps. Well, if you miss that, I'm course, saying that it is so much fun. The kids talk about it forever. Even girls that like kind of liked basketball at the beginning, <laughs> they come back and they're now like, they love it. They do. They love it. It's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's what we're trying to build. Is just young women coming up to want to uh, love the sport and play the game so yeah and i'm like y'all are so lucky because they get to stay on campus and we always talk about how beautiful Furman is and the good dining facility oh, yeah. about the dining hall. oh the dining hall the dh dining hall is amazing is yes Best do they still ever. do laundry on oh, we were talking about do they yeah. still uh, include laundry like you don't have to pay for the laundry i think it's changed in the last year but i still don't think the students see it i think the parents oh. see it <laughs> okay that's what he was saying, he was saying that's yeah me oh, yeah. Like, somebody paying for it somebody's but, paying for yeah, it yeah just made that have from, from quarters and stuff yeah. that's right yeah, of course you've done great work with the the program over there, but you're known for your fashion. Uh, Everybody talks about you on the court. Uh -huh. I mean, like, look oh, at these shoes. shoes. Well, well I, I knew I was wearing. coming with Jamarcus uh -huh. and Megan. I had to come strong. So, but yeah, I, I do have a little bit of a name for my my sideline fashion. So, yeah, absolutely. It's, I mean, you'll be in these in the most intense game and these, you know, seven foot heels. Just <laughs> I, I have to tell you all the funniest thing is, is I get stuck in the floor though. Like my stiletto will come and like go through the uh -huh. floor and I get stuck and I have to get my assistant to come like pot me out. I, I just saw don't you move. in one game. You yeah. jumped up. You were so mad about caught. You were like, mm. if I could get this heel, I'm going to back. I'll, I'll be over there in a <laughs> second. Over there. You're they lucky this floor has got me. They save you from a couple of times. They do. They probably, probably do. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the upcoming season and kind of like what the girls are doing now. Because we were saying back in our day, it was October 15th, That's Midnight right. Madness, right at 12 o'clock, you would start. Now it's kind of a little bit better. We can work out during the summer. And Absolutely. So we're in eight hours a week right now. And then um, starting September 27th, we go to 20 hours a week. So right now it's four hours of basketball, four hours of strength and conditioning uh, for the next, I guess, three, four weeks. And then we're in it. And then the season is here and our girls have worked hard. They've been here all summer. So basketball is pretty year round. There's not much of a break and, yeah. and they're working really hard. And people may not even think about like the strength and conditioning that has to happen outside of playing basketball. Absolutely. I mean, being a, a student athlete is Especially hard at work. Furman. That's right. Not hard, work. Yeah, that's oh, hard work. Hard work. And if you don't get in that weight room, you're not going to be able to compete against uh, uh -huh. the amazing talent that we go against. So mm -hmm. the speed training, the agilities, the weightlifting is just as important as the basketball. So what can we expect? Because we came to a lot of games last season. Mm -hmm. And y'all, the games are so much fun. There's constant, you know, entertainment when there's like, you know, timeouts and stuff. That's there's right. so, there's all kind of fun stuff. What can we expect this season, you think? Well, I think it's going to be a fun season. Uh, anyone who has not seen a Furman women's basketball game, they need to join us. Just come one time. Yes. One time, I feel like we can win you over. Uh, our, our fans are amazing. We have a great atmosphere in Timmins Arena. The university does a great job of supporting us. So come to a game, support us. Women's basketball is at its height right now. It really And is. it's really continuing to grow. You so. guys had a fantastic season last year. Mm -hmm. What are you looking most forward to this season? Gosh, I, I'm really proud of the leadership that our girls are displaying. We lost in the finals last year to Mercer. Uh -huh. It's the second time in four years we've lost in the finals. So we're just looking forward to our girls getting back that energy and wanting to kind of get a little bit of redemption and just coming back and having a great season. So looking forward to, uh, we lost the player of the year in Tierra Hodges, but we have some really strong players coming back and I think it's just going to be a, a sign of a great season. So. And the men's and the women's teams were both in the finals. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's a lot of program to be proud uh -huh. of. Talk about a lot of heartache like, in a weekend. What, right? <laughs> it, was a, it was a tough weekend for Furman Athletics, but you know, the, as much as the men's program and our women's program fought, couldn't be prouder to be an alum, just like yeah. Jamarcus. And so uh, we have a lot to come back for. Well, we, like, well, the school had both their men no, and their women no. in the finals. But, I wish we both. I mean, <laughs> if we, had, yeah. we, we won't worry about that. No, we no, were no. there, and then I forgot what happened. I don't remember what happened. That's right. Happened. I don't that speaks <laughs> to the <laughs> level of what, what's being done over there, though. So congratulations Absolutely. on the, yeah. all of that. And we have something super fun coming up once again. We're kind of making this like an annual event. Yeah, so second annual Hoops and Heels event is coming up October 5th. Stay tuned to our social media channels because you will learn who our speaker is. It's going to be epic. Last year we had Muffet McGraw. She it was, was so phenomenal. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Megan was our MC. And, uh,
just stay tuned to social media in the next day or two and you'll find out we had to go epic you know how do you follow uh -huh. Muffet how do, how do you follow Muffet exactly uh -huh. so we had to we had to stretch it out a little bit up uh -huh. even we more. stepped it up this is such a fun event because like if you you know you come get a table with you know your friends you eat and then it's like what an hour one on one with you know Muffet and then this year's speaker asking questions and nothing's off the table. Nothing. Like it's like you can yeah. talk about anything. So it's not just you know basketball. It can be like Any, anything. Anything. It's, anything. And it's 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 really good. And I think you're really going to oh. want to do it this year. Are tickets on sale for that yet? Not yet. So okay. everything is probably going to kick off September first. So speaker announcement probably in the next day or two. Tickets and, re and registration on September. 1. But go ahead and circle. What's the date again? October. October fifth. Mark those calendars. Mark yeah. it. It's a Tuesday night. It'll be at the well. It's at so the well. It'll be yeah. easy breezy. It'll be fun. And then y'all's first home game. Is Goodness, and it's it's election day. Okay. I don't even know what day that is. Election day. So we're November doing a little 11, civic right? engagement. Be, yeah. Yes. November eleventh on a <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah. It's something like it's a November. Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. So November eleventh. That's right. We're going to be out there again. We'd love to come out there. Come just. Run out, see what Jackie's gonna be wearing. Okay. Yeah, that's how we, look, we can start with that. I'm okay. Whenever you're on the TV, I'm whatever like, works. You know, I'm sending. I'm like, okay, good choice, oh, girl. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Here for the fashion. Yes. So, congratulations. Go Dens. That's right. Go Dens. Go Dens. Can't wait, girl. We're so proud of you. You do <laughs> so you. much. What year is this that you've been coaching? Oh, I just finished 12, so going into Lucky 13, Lucky which 13. is crazy Lucky because 13. like you look at her and you be like, so this is like your what third or fourth year because <laughs> no. you just finished college. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. You look it for sure. So we can't wait to see you, baby. Thank you.